Hi everyone, this is V Naidu, MSc Physics. Today our topic is Introduction to Physics. Before entering the physics, why we study physics? Best example, Manam puttina pudu, Mana thalli dhanru manani, Viyalo vesi oscillate chesthu no pudu nundi. మనం చనిపోయిన తరువాత మనల్ని నలుగురు వ్యక్తులు బ్యాలెన్స్ చేసుకుంటూ మోసుకెళ్ళినంత వరకు కూడా మనకు అవసరమైంది ఏంటంటే ఫిజిక్స్ దట్స్ వై ఫిజిక్స్ ఈజ్ ఏ బ్రాంచ్ ఆఫ్ సైన్స్ ఇట్ కెన్ డీల్స్ విత్ స్టడీ ఆఫ్ నేచర్ డిపెండ్స్ అపాన్ సైజ్ ఆఫ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ అండ్ వెలాసిటీ ఆఫ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ the branch of physics can be classified into three types depends upon size of object size of object nothing but macro object or micro object what are the difference micro or macro micro is nothing but it is the order of 10 to the power of minus 6 meters another one macro macro is nothing but above that order seeing objects all seeing objects called as a macro object and then another one velocity velocity of the, of the object is compared to light velocity depends upon these two factors our physics can be classified into three types one is classical physics another one is relativistic physics another one is quantum physics classical physics it is also called as newtonian mechanics relativistic physics it is also called as it is also called as einstein mechanics quantum physics it is also called as schrodinger physics classical physics can explain behavior of macro objects those objects moves with below light velocity mathematically it can represented by v less than c here v represents object velocity c represents light velocity you know light velocity 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second A relativistic physics can explain behavior of macro objects but these macro objects moves with equal to light velocity that's why mathematically it can be represented by v equal to c finally quantum physics quantum physics can explain behavior of micro objects those objects moves with above or equal to light velocity that's why mathematically it can be represented by v greater than or equal to c these are the three different types of classifications in our physics another one in classical physics we have to study some more different topics in our bsc one is mechanics and another one is thermodynamics next one optics and another one electromagnetic theory and finally waves and oscillations in relativistic physics also we have to study some more topic that is special theory of relativity in quantum physics also we have to study some more different topics one is atomic and molecular physics matter waves and uncertainty and finally nuclear and radioactive decay in our bsc we have to study mechanics and special theory of relativity in our first sem first bsc waves and oscillations we have to study first bsc second sem optics we have to study second bsc third sem thermodynamics we have to study second bsc fourth sem 
and finally third bsc fifth sem we have to study two papers one is electromagnetic theory paper and another one is quantum mechanics paper this is the overall syllabus of bsc students thank you